Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about trimming the hair as well as relaxing the hair at home. And I just kind of want to home in on this point. So my client here came in today and she came in for a restorative slash corrective relaxer. What happened is she decided to relax her hair at home. She did it with a friend. And when she did it with her friend, one part of her head was processed, the other part of her head was not. So I had to go through and do what we call a corrective relaxer. So of course with that, she did not have the ability to trim her hair, so I went ahead and did the trim for her. So instead of me using my shears, I used my clippers along with my cutting vest. But I wanted to home in on this point. Just because you're natural, just because you're relaxed, that does not exclude you from having to take care of your ends. Keep in mind, the scalp is the beginning of the hair and the ends is the end of the hair. So those two areas of that actual strand or those two starting and ending points of that strand have to be in the best condition for the mid shaft and the remainder of the actual hair to be healthy. So at first she was kind of like, oh, you know, I really didn't want to, I don't want to trim too much because it took me so long to grow it to this point. But guys, keep in mind, split ends is not true growth. So the more you hold on to those split ends, the less healthy hair you're going to have. And I don't care what anyone tells you. I don't care what thought you might put in your head about this, but there's no way around having a good trim. Don't go on and on and on holding on to every strand of hair that you have, not knowing that even though you're holding on to these split ends, they will break on their own and they will break at areas that you do not want them to break. So be proactive and make sure that you are getting your trims. At the end of this service, which I really just gave her a very mild form of a trim, which is a, a true trim. A trim is a trim. A cut is a cut. But by the end of this service, her hair was looking absolutely amazing. And I'm going to make one last point, guys. If you want to get a relaxer, please see a, a reputable, I'm not going to say licensed because everybody can be licensed and don't know what they're doing, but please ensure to see a reputable stylist, someone that knows what they are doing. Because guess what? She did a virgin relaxer at home, possibly to save time, possibly on a budget. I totally understand that. But this is your hair. This is your crown. This is what is on top of your head. And you can jeopardize all of that in literally half an hour or sometimes even less so when she came in for the corrective slash restorative relaxer i actually ended up having to spot treat because some parts of the strand was relaxed other parts was under process other parts wasn't even touched it looked as though maybe there wasn't enough relaxer that kind of thing so there's a lot of different situations that can arise from trying to do something that really should be left in the hands of a professional i know some won't agree but guess what it is the truth and the truth hurts so what i did at the end was just give her a basic bump using the two inch H Trupo flat iron. And that was really all. I, it really didn't take much more than that. Her hair was absolutely amazing, guys. Like when we were done, that hair looked like she had just gotten a fresh reaction that day. Um, I also use a little bit of Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum on her hair just to help seal her ends and to add that luster to her hair. And then we did spray a little bit of gloss on her hair. So if this video was of any content use for you or anything of value to you, please thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments down below if you've ever encountered a situation like this.